Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, Rusty's Mustang Garage. This episode is going to be another episode where we're working on the chassis jig. I believe this is going to be episode 3. I'll leave a link around here somewhere to the whole playlist on the jig. Today we're going to be making the legs for it and the caster mounting plates. So uh, stick around, let's check it out. clamp these down because a seven, six, seven six inch bit if it bites in it's gonna rip it out of my hands so a quick little clamp once it's centered I'm not going to bore you with the other three plates, pretty much going to be the same way. And we'll check out how they fit in a minute. Alright, so what we have here are the mounting plates. I cut four of them, I believe they're around an eighth of an inch thick. Basically they're a mount where they're going to get welded to the bottom of one of the frame um, one of the long beams on the frame jig and the casters will screw into the bottom. For the legs, I've cut some short 2x2 two two square tubing. And I've cut some some end caps for them and welded a, a 3 quarter inch nut to the bottom of it. Overall what it's going to look like when it's done is something like that. This whole thing will be able to screw in, screw out, and level the frame jig. If I need more height, I can always throw in some uh, two by six lumber underneath it and get a couple more inches that way if I need it. So we're gonna weld this last one up over here. And uh, I'll show you how it goes.
I know I MIG weld these, but it was tough to get a really good weld all the way around. So I think I'm going to do is I'm going to TIG weld a little bit more around these. I soaked these in some muriatic acid. It stripped the zinc off the nut and it also uh, stripped most of the mill scale off to make it easier to weld to. So we're going to go ahead right now and do some TIG welding. It's all eight. I'm gonna have to let them cool for a while. And they are literally red hot. All right, so what I'm doing now is I'm just tacking the end caps onto the legs. I got my square set up, so hopefully everything stays kind of square. Uh, it's gonna be kind of tough. Cause I got no real way of holding the end caps. I can hold the leg solidly up against the square, but there's no way to really hold the end cap unless I push it with this, but then who knows if it's staying square. So all I'm doing right now is just tacking them in place and I'll go and screw one of the legs in and see if it looks square. If it looks pretty close to being square, I'll leave it. If it's way off, I may adjust it, but we'll see how they go. All right, I was able to make sure all the legs screwed into the, to the posts. Now we're just going to weld the caps all the way around. Alright, I got all the leg posts welded up. Uh, it took a little while because I had to wait in between like every two legs. The, the welder was getting too hot, or I should say the, the torch cable was getting a little bit warm. So I wanted to give that some time to cool off and not overheat. So it took a while to do that. Um, but here is what the end result looks like. Alright, I got eight posts. They're all pretty well set up and finished, cleaned up as much as they're going to get cleaned up. All I have left now to do is make the adjustable legs for it, but all the hardware I have is zinc coated and zinc coating and TIG welding don't really mix too well. So what we're going to do is, I got a couple buckets of muriatic acid over here and I'm just going to Put the hardware in. You got the washers, the nuts, and uh, if you watch, as you put the hardware in, it just starts bubbling instantly. All right, I gotta take a couple seconds here, real quick, to point out a safety hazard that I should have known about. You see me dropping the hardware into the muriatic acid with my bare hands. That is uh, a hazard. Uh, muriatic acid is hydrochloric acid. It will burn you. It will burn skin. It will uh, Severely damage your eyes. You need to be wearing proper safety equipment when handling it. I Have a pair of heavy rubber gloves that I use When I was taking the parts out and cleaning them But I should have also been wearing them when I was putting the parts in because you could see The washers and the bolts splashing a little bit as I put them in and if any of that had gotten on my skin It would have burned it so please if you're using this stuff um, be sure to wear all the proper safety gear and follow all the directions and precautions on the label. And now, back to the video. As you put the hardware in, it just starts bubbling instantly. I'm doing this outside because uh, indoors the fumes may get a little, a little strong. So I'm gonna go dump the washers in. Okay. 
and it's not gonna take a whole lot of time for these to uh, to clean off the zinc coating. Maybe 20 minutes, half hour at the most. The end caps for the posts had a lot of mill scale on the plates, so I let them sit overnight, and they were pretty clean when I got done with it. So, um, yeah, we'll come back in about 20 minutes, half hour or so, pull these out, rinse them off, and we'll get uh, we'll get welding. All right, I don't know if you make it out on camera, but you can definitely see that after about a half hour in the soaking that the ones that are in the acid are definitely grayer and it looks like the zinc has been stripped off. You can see the a new bolt that hasn't been put in the acid. Still shiny. Same thing with the washers. But if you look at the ones that have been sitting in, they're all gray. All the zinc's been stripped off. You can also see on the bolts where on the left side they haven't been in the acid and the bottom inch and a half or so has been in the acid. All the zinc's been stripped off. So I'm going to go wash these off and dry them and then weld them up like the others. Alright, so all I'm doing is just tacking the washer onto the bottom, filling in the little ring that's left. And uh, and welding the nut to the other side of the washer. All right, let's do a quick recap of what we got so far. So today we finished the eight posts and adjustable screw legs for the jig. We have our Plates cut for the casters. I have four casters. The plates will get welded onto the bottom of the jig. And then the casters will get bolted to those plates. Everything is pretty much ready to go except for the actual jig. The steel will be here hopefully this week. I really haven't ordered it yet, but it should be here this week. <clears throat> and uh, then we'll be getting building on the main table. So if you like what you've seen so far, please hit that subscribe button and notification bell. You'll be notified when I post a new video. Hit that like button as well if you can. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, leave them down below in the comment section. And hopefully the next video is going to be building the actual jig. So we will see you in the next video.